Well, hello everybody. It is time to get started on part two of building my new aquaponic garden. And today, we are putting the plumbing together and with any luck, maybe even adding some water. Still going to be a while before I add fish, but safety first. All right, let's get going with the plumbing. So I've got an old bell for the siphon there. And I think here I have collected all the fittings I'm going to need to run the plumbing from my pump up, split it over to the grow bed, run it along the back, and then across the top of the swirl filter and into the currently quite crooked fish tank. Now check this out, I'm going to need basically two two by fours worth of height to clear the lip into the blue bin, so that'll be easy enough to take care of. You know, in theory, this should all be pretty straightforward because I found most of the pieces that I had in play before. I even found my uh, overflow drain for the fish tank, so that is really, really helpful. All right, I'm going to start measuring some pieces and uh, we'll see how it looks. So I guess one of the first measurements I'm going to need is from the pump to the top of the bed where I'm going to split it. My woman hijacked my lawnmower because she wants to give it a try. Oh, now I really, really love that lawnmower, but that's not aquaponics, is it? So, the next thing I'm going to want to do is run it to the corner, along the wall, and into the fish tank. Should be simple enough, 290s, good length of pipe, lick a paint, lick a paint, plenty of time. Give us a biscuit. Alright, with a little bit of lumber stacked up underneath that, my fish tank now gravity drains into the swirl filter, and I have appropriate connections. My swirl filter now drains into the sump tank. The sump tank now comes up to the grow bed and we're almost ready to connect it back over to the fish tank. Looking good. Well, I've got to say I'm really glad I brought all these assorted lengths of pipe and kept all these assorted lengths of pipe because to put this whole thing together I had to cut twice. That's it. So, elderberry hopefully still alive, but we've got our drain down into the bottom coming from the pump in the sump tank with the ball valve. Headed the other way also on a ball valve we have our fill into the fish tank which should fill this pipe from the bottom. Overflow at the cross point here, I'm trying to find a way to demonstrate this well, and go into the swirl filter swirl filter will eventually fill up and uh, when I fix the angle drain creating a swirl heavy things will sink and we'll have oh I forgot my corner we'll have an overflow here into the sump tank that will be fairly clean water looking pretty good I forgot one connection not bad so I decided not to switch out that old drain for the uh, bulkhead fitting that I've got simply because well this thing worked for so long I can only assume it's still going to work now. Eh, I should be able to straight line that down. It'll be fine. Alright, feel like Santa Claus here making his plumbing, checking it twice. Gonna find out what's naughty and nice. Seems to me like this should be fully functional. You know what the fun part is now? Now I get to fill this, you see, but while I did bring a garden hose, the outside water faucet refuses to turn on. Tried taking that top little handle off and just turning it with a pair of ice grips on that square bit in the middle, but that seems to be stripped and turning as well without actually doing anything, so might actually need to call a plumber for that one. Well, until then, I guess it's me and Mickey doing the Sorcerer's Apprentice and carrying buckets from one place to another. But you know what? It's only uh, 100 gallons of water or so. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to save you the walk and we'll get back to it when there's water in here. All right. So while we don't have an outside faucet to attach that, Shox is incredibly brilliant and suggested we run the line into the laundry room. Since we don't have a washing machine hooked up anyway, why not? Certainly did the trick. All right, thank you, Shocks. And she's mowing the lawn. Well, thanks to Shocks's brilliance, we got this filled up way faster than I expected. Fish tank, sump tank, swirl filter, grow bed. I am going with the suggestion of using uh, containers 
inside my flood and drain bed just because I have very limited planting material right now. And uh, it's a good way to get things started. Got Miles the turtle, you know it's my garden now. And of course, the John Deere toys. I'm going to have that one on the right one day. Might make this lawn a lot easier. Mind you, if she likes mowing the lawn, I'm not going to stop her. So we've got the moment of truth here. I almost need a drum roll. Sounds like the pump still functions. Good water flow there. Turn on the bed. Leave it to me to choose the stickiest ball valve. Looks like we've got good water flow there. Now for the waiting is part. Really basic bell siphon going on here. Still got a little bit to go before that fills up. But we'll see. Looks a little more like a real aquaponic garden though, doesn't it? If I can find the lids for these, I'll be in good business. Be in fine shape, fine shape indeed. Definitely feels more like home with that running water in the background. Ah. Now to fiddle with the speeds and dial it in. I can honestly say that without media in the garden bed, it feels like it takes forever for these things to fill. Testing the, the height for overflow. That looks pretty good. All in all, I'm pretty happy with that. And then once it starts overflowing, we'll check and see if that old bell's gonna work. Wait for it. Go! Don't wanna wait anymore. There we go. Looks like adequate overflow. Now, can I get a bell going, or a siphon going, I should say, without a uh, step up or step down on that pipe? Survey says. Is it still overflow? I think that's still just overflowing. Hmm, gonna have to fiddle with that, but that's the joy of aquaponics for me, is I've constantly got something to fiddle with. Yeah, I might need to take that three quarters up to a one inch before I get a proper drain out of that, but once it does kick in, look at it go! Well, this has been going for about half an hour now. I'm going to have a few little leaks to seal up along the way, I'm sure, but I won't really know where until uh, my spilling on the floor dries up. Definitely going to need a larger sump tank eventually, but I'm in, uh, I'm in a good place here. The co-op guy's got a wonderful I-can-get-you-anything-you-need attitude. I like that. And uh, I think I'll just collect rocks from around the pop property, uh, sifting up garden beds and such to be able to fill this. It's going to be fantastic. Alright, I'm heading upstairs now to that second bathroom. I'm going to grab the last of the plants and bring them out. And you guys can see that next time. Alright everybody, thanks for hanging out while I put together the last half of the aquaponic garden here. And, uh, you know, maybe it's been educational, maybe it's been informative, maybe it's been just plain entertaining, but hey, like I said, thanks for hanging out no matter why you're here. <laughs> Have yourselves a fantastic day, guys. Bye.